Hello, my name is Spencer Bentley, and my case study will be on artificial intelligence and the ethical implications of its proliferation and potential regulation. Artificial intelligence is more than just a technological advancement. It has transformed industries and raised pressing ethical questions. There are many definitions of artificial intelligence, but for our sake, we will refer to it as the simulation of human intelligence in machines programmed to think and learn. This technology encompasses machine learning, natural language processing, and robotics, revolutionizing tasks from data analysis to autonomous vehicles. The rapid proliferation of AI, particularly through large language models like BARD and ChatGPT, is reshaping industries, communication, and daily life. These models enable everything from personalized customer service to sophisticated data analysis, boosting productivity, and creating new avenues for innovation. Regulation in AI is essential to address ethical concerns, ensure public safety, and protect economic interests. Without proper frameworks, the risk of misuse, bias, and privacy violations increases significantly, which can have widespread and largely unknown societal impacts. There are many different ethical theories to consider when thinking about potential regulations for AI. Understanding these frameworks is crucial to evaluating whether or not AI should be regulated and to what extent, as these theories guide decision-making and technological developments. First, we have Kantian ethics. Kantian ethics emphasizes duty, universality, and respect for individuals. In AI, this could help create systems that uphold human dignity and are designed for ethical use avoiding harm and ensuring no person is treated solely as a means to an end. Next, we have virtue ethics. Virtue ethics focuses on character and the moral virtues one should cultivate. In the context of AI, this would necessitate the development of technologies that promote virtues like honesty, fairness, and accountability in their algorithms and subsequent applications. Finally, we have the justice principle. This could ensure that AI systems promote fairness and equitable treatment of individuals. It would address biases in data and algorithms, and is essential for safeguarding social justice, requiring regulatory frameworks to maintain accountability. Artificial intelligence has a huge impact on our society. It can shape economies, national security, and various cultural dynamics, making its social impact both profound and incredibly complex. There are many different economic influences of AI. It is revolutionizing industries by optimizing processes, enhancing productivity, and creating new markets. The World Economic Forum estimates that AI could generate some 19.9 trillion in economic value by the year 2030. This highlights a significant growth potential for the technology. It also has effects on national security. AI is changing how the U.S. protects itself by improving cybersecurity and spotting threats. The Department of Defense uses AI to watch networks and identify cyber issues quickly, leading to faster responses. But relying on AI comes with, at a risk, like hacking vulnerabilities and biases in decision-making. While AI boosts national security efficiency, we must prioritize careful monitoring and strong safeguards. And also, there are the explicit and latent social changes and cultural shifts that go along with the proliferation of AI. AI is transforming society by reshaping work, communication, and daily interactions. It enhances efficiency, but also raises challenges, including job displacement and privacy concerns. As AI drives change, adapting responsibly is crucial to ensure ethical and inclusive outcomes. Now let's look at some arguments for regulation. Regulating AI is crucial to prevent ethical dilemmas, ensure public safety, and mitigate economic risks as the technology continues to rapidly evolve. The prevention of ethical dilemmas. AI systems can create ethical dilemmas in decision-making, especially in areas like healthcare and law enforcement. Proper regulations can ensure that these algorithms adhere to ethical standards and help prevent biased outcomes that may influence lives unfairly. 
safeguarding public safety. Regulation ensures that AI technologies prioritize public safety, particularly in autonomous vehicles like self-driving cars. Accidents arising from unregulated AI can lead to severe consequences, which would warrant stringent oversight to protect citizens. Mitigating Economic Risks Unregulated AI can lead to significant economic risks, like job displacement and market monopolies. Effective regulation can foster a balanced economy that harnesses AI's benefits while protecting jobs and encouraging fair competition. And here are some arguments against regulation. Excessive regulation can stifle innovation and hinder economic growth by placing unnecessary barriers on the technology's development. Innovation and Economic Growth As discussed earlier, AI technology is on track to add $19.9 trillion to the global economy by 2030. By allowing AI to flourish without onerous, stringent regulations, businesses can harness its potential to boost productivity and create jobs. Risk of over Overregulation Overregulation can lead to bureaucratic red tape, slowing down the pace of innovation. Excessive rules may deter startups and small businesses from entering the AI market, stifling creativity and technological advancement. Impact on creative advantage, competitive advantage. Regulation could create an uneven playing field where larger corporations comply more easily than smaller firms. This could ultimately reduce competition and innovation benefiting only the established players in the AI space. Real-world case studies in AI regulation. Next, we'll review some case studies that reveal profound insights into the effects of AI regulation. We will showcase both successful implementations and the failures that can arise from neglect. One successful implementation is the Algorithmic Ac Accountability Act of 2022. In New York City, this mandates audits for AI tools that are used in hiring to prevent and reduce racial and gender discrimination in employment decisions. It requires transparency by notifying candidates when automated tools are used, allowing them to understand and question AI's role in the hiring process. The law also holds, com holds companies accountable for ensuring fair outcomes, incentivizing the development of less biased, more reliable AI. This regulation exemplifies a balanced approach, protecting candidates' rights while encouraging innovation in compliant hiring technologies. There are also failures due to a lack of regulation. One notable example is Chicago's strategic subject list. This was aimed to reduce gun violence by identifying individuals at high risk of involvement in crimes. However, due to biased data, the AI disproportionately flagged young Black and Latino men, often without any criminal history, leading to increased surveillance in marginalized communities. Without transparency or oversight, the SSL reinforced racial profiling and amplified existing biases. There is also a global perspective on regulation. Countries can vary widely in their approaches to AI regulation. For example, the EU emphasizes a strict data protection law approach, the, while the U.S. adopts a more laissez-faire attitude, leading to ongoing debates on the balance between innovation and safeguarding public interests. Recommendations for balanced regulation A multifaceted regulatory approach is needed, balancing innovation with ethical safeguards. Engaging stakeholders from technology, ethics, and policy sectors can ensure that regulations are adaptable, fostering innovation while protecting societal interests. Finally, conclusions and future considerations. Regulating AI and business intelligence presents both opportunities and challenges. On one hand, regulation provides safeguards, promoting fairness, transparency, and protecting individual rights by minimizing risks like data misuse and bias. However, excessive regulation can limit innovation, slowing AI's transformative potential. Here are some parting questions we should consider. How can we ensure that AI regulations keep up with its rapid advancement without hindering innovation? What ethical responsibilities should organizations take on beyond what regulations 
require. Finally, how can we balance the potential societal benefits of AI with the need to protect individual rights and privacy? Thank you.